Welcome to Yes Pod. Today we are going to see the morphology of the angiosperm in that next unit that is the diversity of the plant form. In the last video we have seen the basic body plan of the flowering plant. Diversity of the plant forms. There are over 3 lakh angiosperm species growing on the earth which show enormous diversity in the size and forms. The diversity in the plant life can be studied from the following headings. Diversity on the basis of the habit and diversity on the basis of the lifespan. Today in this video we will see diversity on the basis of the habit. Diversity on the basis of the habit, it includes the shape, size and forms. Angiosperms are classified into four groups. These are herbs, shrubs, trees and the climbers. First group is the herbs. They are also called as the herbaceous plants. Herbs are the plants with weak stem. The stem is green, delicate and short. Their life cycle is short. The, these plants grow fast and produce flowers and many seeds in short period of time. Here, this is a mint plant. It hardly attains height more than 1 meter and the stem is delicate which is green in color. The common examples of the herbs around us is wheat, mint, lily, most grasses, coriander and tulsi. Next group is the shrub. These plants are woody, branched and larger than the herbs, usually with the several stems but no main axis. Shrubs can be deciduous or evergreen. Here, we hardly see the main axis but we can see the different branches that arise from the ground. This is an example of a china rose. Examples of the shrubs are rose, china rose, lemon, henna and croton. Next group is the trees. The plants are longer than the shrubs, harder and woody, very well developed and thick, possess prominent trunk. Trees can live for many years. Here in this picture we can see the prominent main trunk and the side branches. The tree can attain height more than 10 meters. Examples are mango, coconut, teak, banyan and neem oak. Next group is the climbers. Plants are with the weak stem are called as the climbers. Climbers need support to grow by the means of the tendrils, petioles, spines and adventitious roots. Here in this picture, the stem of this climber is very delicate. So, they need support to grow on with the help of the tendrils, petiole, spines and adventitious roots. The common examples of the climbers are alamenda, money plant, bitter gourd, sweet gourd, bottle gourd and passion flower. So, we have seen diversity on the basis of the habit in that firstly the herbs, shrubs, trees and the climbers. Herbs are the delicate plants. They hardly attain height more than 1 meter. They complete their life cycle very fast. Next group is the shrubs. Shrubs are with the woody stems and they are larger than the herbs but shorter than the trees. Next group is the trees. Trees are larger than the shrubs and they have the main prominent trunk. They live for many years. Next is the climbers. Climbers, they are plants with the weak stem and they need support to grow. So that's it for today's video. In the next video, we will see diversity on the basis of the lifespan. Thank you.